the time to finish my water tank lids. This is the old one. I already ordered a new sensor. Piero and I are discussing what is the best solution to take measurements to make the bolt holes in the new water tank lids. As you can see, we are pulling line on the water tank covers and take exact measurements on where the bolt holes will be drilled. We absolutely cannot think of making mistakes because once the hole has been made, if we are wrong, we throw away the work done so far, so we are constantly discussing what is the position and the exact size of the holes. We have joined two pieces of fiberglass, so it's more easy to drill perfectly the same position in the same place. And those are the stainless steel bars with the welded bolts that we glass in the tank lids. We need to be very precise to make the holes, because after that we must insert the bars inside the holes. We will use this diamond disc to cut the edge of the lids in the round shape. So now we test if all is okay, if the bar go inside the holes, and now I need to send the steel. I will send the stainless steel so the epoxy can be adhered better and stick. Countersink the holes. A good sand of the surface to permit a better attachment of the epoxy paint. Here we insert the bar. After that, we will tighten the bolt. After inserting the steel bars, we tightened the bolts. In this way, the bar will be completely fixed and we could easily laminate it with epoxy resin. No more water entering. Cleaning with acetones. And preparing the epoxy resin. Epoxy resin added with silica allows to obtain a very resistant putty. In this way we level the edge of the bars and will be more easy to laminate the cloth over the bars. Here we are, the lids are just uh, finished, 
Now I have to wait for the epoxy resin to do its, its jobs and then I will trim the edge. And now we go with the first one. Okay, now we will check if it worked well inside the water tank. Yes, sir. Yes, it fit well. This is only for test, it's not the fixing stuff. But I think uh, it's quite good. I need now to check how much flange I have here so I can use some uh, rubber to seal it inside. And for sure I will make a hole here to make the water uh, level sensor. Okay. It fit well, perfect. I'm very happy. It's a good result of uh, the water tank. I need some seal just here with a rubber, soft rubber. With a black marker, I marked the edge so I can see how many cover go inside the tank. And now the final test to see if the various blocks of aluminium perform they work. The aluminium clamp must be anodized again after 30 years. Some sign of fatigue are present, but nothing special. So, happy job done! You can see the black sign. All after the black sign is needed to glue the ceiling rubber. I can be said that I have a nice support flange to work. Before start to paint the leads, I need to sand all around the bolts because I need to make a good surface where I will go to paint. Some tape to protect the bolts from the painting and we go with epoxy paint, specially formulated for paint inside the water tank. Up down in the water tank lid, the first layer, it will need about three layers in this side in contact with the water to prevent any infiltration.